Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x times x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 20. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This x, this x is same as x plus 0. And the average of average of this 0, this negative 2, this 2 and this 4 is 0 plus negative 2 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is equal to sum of these 4 numbers is 4 divided by 4 and this is equal to 1. So, we suppose that let y is equal to x plus 1. We move this plus 1 to the left hand side, then this implies that x is equal to y minus 1. Now, we replace every x with this y minus 1, then this equation will become y minus 1 times y minus 1 minus 2 times y minus 1 plus 2 times y minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 20. Now, this uh, y minus 1 remains same y minus 1 times y this uh, negative 1 and negative 2 will become negative 3 times y and this negative 1 plus 2 will become plus 1 times y this negative 1 and this plus 4 will become plus 3 is equal to 20. Now, we rearrange these terms y minus 1 times this y plus 1 times this y minus 3 times this y plus 3 is equal to 20. Now, by using this algebraic identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, y minus 1 times uh, y plus 1 will become y squared minus 1 squared times uh, this uh, y minus 3 times uh, y plus 3 will become y squared minus 3 squared is equal to 20. Next, y squared minus this uh, 1 squared is 1 times y squared minus this uh, 3 squared is 9 is equal to 20. Now, average of uh, this 1 and this 9, 1 plus 9 over 2 is equal to 10 over 2, this is equal to 5. So, we suppose that uh, let y squared is equal to t plus 5. Now, we replace uh, this y squared and this uh, y squared with this uh, t plus 5. Then, uh, this equation will become t plus uh, 5 minus 1 times uh, t plus 5 minus 9 is equal to 20. Next, t plus 5 minus 1 is plus 4 times this uh, t plus 5 minus 9 is t minus 4 is equal to 20. Now, by using uh, this algebraic identity, this uh, t plus 4 times uh, t minus 4 will become t squared minus 4 squared is equal to 20. Next, t squared minus 4 squared is 16 is equal to 20. 
if we move this in negative 16 to the right hand side then this equation will become t squared is equal to 20 plus 16 and t squared is equal to 36. Now to remove this square we take a square root of both sides t squared and take square root is equal to we take a square root of this 36 and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of t is equal to plus or minus 6. It means uh, t is equal to 6 and t is equal to negative 6. Now recall that recall that uh, y squared is equal to t plus uh, 5. Recall that uh, y squared is equal to t plus 5. So, when t is equal to 6, then y squared will be equal to 6 plus 5 and y squared will be equal to 11. And if we take the square root of both sides, then this implies that uh, y is equal to plus or minus square root of 11. And when t is equal to negative 6, then this equation will become y squared is equal to negative 6 plus 5 and y squared is equal to negative 1. And if we take a square root of both sides, this implies that uh, y is equal to square root of negative 1. And this is equal to plus or minus i. Now to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that x is equal to y minus 1. We have supposed that x is equal to y minus 1. So, when y is equal to plus minus root 11, then this equation will become x is equal to, in place of this y, we write this plus minus root 11 minus this one. Now, this can be written as x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 11. And from here, we get two values of x. x1 is equal to negative 1 plus root 11 and x2 is equal to negative 1 minus root 11. Now, when y is equal to plus minus i, then this equation will become x is equal to plus minus i minus 1. And this can be written as x is equal to negative 1 plus minus i. And from here, we get other two solutions. x3 is equal to negative 1 plus i and x 4 is equal to negative 1 minus i. So, we have uh, 4 solutions of uh, this equation.